Hello, for this video I'm going to show you how to make these little hydrangeas. I've done some light blue ones and some darker blue ones. Aren't they pretty? I love how they came out. Alrighty, so all you need is a scrap of white paper and a heart punch, some pearls and green and hydrangea color, green and kind of like a periwinkle color, or this one is a, a yellow green with a very, very light, light blue. So you could also do pink edges. Maybe I'll do pink. I'll do some pink ones. I haven't done those yet. All righty, let's see how that's gonna look. Yeah, that'll be pretty. All right. All righty, so this is, this is what you do. You take your paper and you fold it over. I just folded it in half and then folded it back again because you want it real, real thin. And this is a one inch heart punch. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up and you're gonna try to go as close with the letter M. See how the letter M is on the top? As close to the fold as you can without cutting it in half. So like this, let me see if you can see that, like that. All right. So as close to the fold as you can without cutting in and half. All right, so it's gonna look like this, okay? This way you can open it up like so. And you need two of those for each flower. So just go ahead and keep cutting them out as close as you can. And again, two per flower. other side and you want to use thinner cardstock not the 110 110 is way too thick to do so you want to do a, a lesser weight cardstock there you go okay and then I should be able to get one more row out of the middle. Oh, that's funny. Doesn't that look like a row of teeth? Ha, ra, 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 ra. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, gosh. That's so funny. When I do stuff like that, then I think, that sounded just like my my mom. That sounded like something she would so do. And then she'd laugh at herself, too. I have a silly mother. Yes, I do. All righty, there. Now, you gotta open these babies up. And let me move these over here. Because those are the light blue ones. These are the darker blue ones. That's another dark blue one that I need to finish because I like to color them on my silicone mat. This is just a silicone baking mat that I cut into, into eight pieces to be this size for the corner of my desk. And two whole sheets were like $7.95 or something silly like that. So I gave one sheet to my friend and one sheet to me. And we each have eight little quarters like this or eight little pieces like this, which is nice. Alrighty, there. So now let's do these. I want to do a couple pink ones. So I'm going to do the yellow in the middle and you just scribble back and forth. Scribble back and forth, scribble back and forth, scribble back and forth. So that's for two. And I'll do enough for two more. And then and there and there. Okay. And then you need pink on the outer edge. And just kind of scribble. Scribble in towards the middle, but just along the outer edge. And then we'll go back and we'll do the other side. There, now we'll do the other side. Excuse my hand here. I guess I could turn them around here. I'll turn them around so you can see what I'm doing.
They're so pretty. And when you're creating, you can really make these any color you want. I mean, if you're making, you could do orange if you're making Halloween, do some orange and purple ones, you know? Doesn't really matter. That would be really pretty, as a matter of fact. All right, so I've got enough to make four flowers here. So let's go ahead and put down a little dollop of glue in the middle of four of them. One, two, three, four. Now I want to do a Halloween one, so I'm going to do that with the last two. <laughs> All right. You just crisscross this piece right over. Take a pencil and press it down. And, and then crisscross this one over. And press it down with an eraser. Crisscross this one over. Press it down. Crisscross this one over. And press it down. So now we have four pink ones. Aren't they pretty? And then we just need to put pearly in the middle of each one. So there's pink. And pink. Oh, those are so pretty. So as you can see, you can make them any color you want to. Oh, why am I putting them over there? They're not done yet. <laughs> there's one more step. Okay. Alrighty, so the last step is this. You want to put this fingernail almost all the way up to the very tip, like this, and then pitch, pinch the tip together like that. So essentially you're folding it in half and pinching it, but you want this shape, so you want to line your fingernail up there and then pinch it together and push it up against your fingernail. And then that'll shape those for you. Isn't that cool? And then you can flatten them out a little bit. So look at the difference between the two. So again, just squeeze and push it against your finger now. There. There we go, and one more. Such pretty little colors. Pink, light blue, and then hydrangea color. That darker blue, that's so pretty. All right, I have to do a orange and purple. I just think that would be gorgeous. So where's orange? All right, here's the orange for the middle. And then purple. That's gonna be so pretty, oh my goodness. Alrighty. It's not really orange, orange is it? But that's okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, they're so pretty. Turn those around. It looks like pansy colors. Little purple pansies touched with yellow gold. There we go. Alrighty, and the same thing. We gotta just put glue on in the center of two of them. There's glue. There's glue. And Pick this one up and cross it over, press it down. Pick this one up and cross it over and press it down. Add the little pearly in the middle. Oh, they're so, so pretty. And with your heart punch, how cool is that? Pretty nifty. Alrighty, and then we just have to do that little pinch at the very tip. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty too. Alrighty, there you go. Aren't they pretty? Alrighty, so let me put these on a 
white card and lift it up so you can see it. Those pink ones are really gorgeous. The light blue ones I made first. And then I made the dark blue ones. And then I made the pink ones. And then I made the purple ones. There you go. Which ones are your favorite? Aren't they pretty? Pink, light blue, dark blue, or purple? I think, which is surprising, the pink ones are my favorite. I would normally choose these colors because these are my favorite colors are greens and blues. But that pink, I don't know. That is just so pretty. Alrighty. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try and pull out those white scraps and have at it. Enjoy. I hope so. And I, until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.